Carrillo. Welcome back. While we do have an incipient tropical system developing in the Gulf of Mexico, it looks better and better for Acadiana based on the latest model guidance. Of course, things could change, but I'm lowering the rain chances for Saturday. The main impacts of this system is going to be over eastern, southeastern Louisiana going into tomorrow night, then on into Mississippi and Alabama. So let's take a look at the big picture. And once again, dry air and shear really impinging upon this system. We have a upper ridge of high pressure pressure that brought in the nice dry air today and it'll be fighting this system all the way uh, across southwest Louisiana and southeast Texas. And then we have this upper level low here. Weak surface low is down here, but we have some shear going over the surface low. So that's why all the convection is off to the east. Everything's going to be moving northward as this high pressure ridge uh, dips a little bit to the south and west with time. So that's why this is going to be moving northward. But you can see if you draw a straight line down to the south, we have some pretty dry air, not a whole lot of deep tropical moisture in the western Gulf. It's all in the eastern Gulf of Mexico. So the only flood issues we see are, is going to be for southeast Louisiana. And I think mainly if we cut this in half, over here as we go into extreme southeastern Louisiana where a flash flood watch is possible. Uh, weather service going for the possibility up to 6 to 10 inches of rain and that is certainly a possibility but right now we have a disorganized system so that is good news. You don't want convection wrapping around the center and again where's the center of circulation? I'm going to guess on the satellite Im imagery right here. See I even missed that as well. Very hard to uh, pick a low level center. 30 mile per hour wind so it's below a tropical depression uh, intensity because it, it, we don't have a closed circulation nor convection going around the center of circulation. But again, the models continue to insist this is going to become a depression, possibly a tropical storm, and that's going to happen tomorrow. And then making landfall tomorrow night into Saturday morning somewhere near St. Mary or Terrebonne Parish. But all the big weather with this system is going to be east of the system. And the way we see it right now, well east of the system. But uh, again, southeast Louisiana, I'd uh, be concerned about about rainfall here. We'll show you the models in just a bit. Now we do have tropical storm warnings in effect for Vermilion, Iberia, St. Mary parishes and points offshore and to the east, including NOLA and then over toward Mobile as well. Uh, the main impacts, though, I think you cut this in half are going to be uh, mainly off to the east. Based on the model day that we have been seeing, this is the latest model day. We showed you the HER model earlier. Here's the NAM model indicating tropical showers working their way into southeastern eastern Louisiana. Some roll through Acadiana. We're going to have some showers, but not everybody sees them. But we'll go with rain chance at about 50 54 tomorrow. And then you see the heavier rains, the tropical rain bands working their way in very close to St. Mary Parish. So we'll have to watch there. And then through NOLA and then down through the southeastern part of the state as we head into this time tomorrow evening. And then the whole mess begins to move off to the northeast. And notice where the center of the circulation is pretty close to the National Hurricane Center forecast. So some heavy rainfall tomorrow night, but then it moves out of the state and notice we're not seeing much activity going on in Saturday. So I've lowered the rain chances Saturday down from 80% down to about 50% and it probably will go lower based on how we see things developing if these models stay consistent. So the weekend may not be a washout at all, at least for Saturday, Sunday, a little bit of a different story. So let's get into it. And again, uh, I'm getting a little ahead of myself. The computers are just a little slow here and we're going to be fixing that in short order. Here's the her model rainfall uh, as you can see and again it piles up mainly east of our region. Notice not much going on. This is through Saturday evening but let me pull this map over and there you see that heavy rainfall across portions of Mississippi into Alabama offshore. That's where you're going to have your big rains and as for winds we're not looking at much going on with winds. Uh, they'll gust to 20 to 25. We see that going into tomorrow evening. Tomorrow night a few gusts up pushing 30 30 perhaps, and then as we head into the overnight hours, the winds turning around out of the north and then turning around the northwest in response to that low pushing off to the east. So tides coming up along the coast, but we're not concerned with that as well. Highest winds, roughest weather per the Euro model is going to be offshore and then uh, burgeoning upon the eastern portions of Louisiana and into uh, Mississippi, Alabama and the Florida panhandle. So not a wind situation, not a rain situation. In fact, I've lowered 
lowered all of our risks to either marginal or none, so no major issues. Maybe an inch or two of rain. That's what we're going to go with for now. Higher amounts, obviously, to the east and lower amounts to the west. So this is the way it looks for tomorrow. Rain chances picking up just afternoon hours and continuing into tomorrow night with on and off tropical showers. And as we head into the weekend, uh, brought down the rain chance Saturday to 50%. And I think we see intervals of sunshine as well Saturday, and that rain chance may even go lower for Saturday, so looking better and better. Unfortunately, though, pretty good rain chances for the latter part of the weekend early next week, but not tied to this weather system, just tropical moisture in the area. That's it for weather for right now. We'll be right back right after this.